This is a bit different for me. Um, as you guys probably know, Malika and I have been traveling the world together for two years now. Um, we got married overseas and now we're back in Australia just for a little bit for new visas to go through. But her parents live on the coast, which is where my parents used to live and the rest of my family lives on the coast. But now I'm heading out to the outback to see my, my family for a few months. And um, it's the first time I haven't been in with Malika for for over two years now. It's maybe even two and a half years since we've been apart for this long. So it's a bit a bit different. Um, that's all right. I've, um, she dropped me off at the train station on the Gold Coast. Now I've caught the train up here to Brisbane. Uh, stopped into a pub, Transcontinental Hotel at Roma Street. Um, before my bus, because I'm about to get on the bus, heading out to the Middle East Outback. It's going to be a, like a 28 hour bus trip. So getting a quick meal while I can, because um, the bus doesn't stop too often, I don't think. So I just thought I'd, thought I'd get a drink and um, stock up on some food before I get on there. But yeah, it's been, been a good day this morning. Um, nice to be back in Brisbane, and it's going to be going to be great to get out there and see the family. So I'm looking forward to it. but. I mean, it's only been a few hours. I'm already missing Malika, but uh, she'll be right. We'll, we'll stay in, stay in contact, and yeah, it's just going to be a bit different. We'll see how it goes. But at the moment, I'm just enjoying a, um, a quiet beer and recharging my laptop so that I've got something to do on the bus and chilling out. Alright, well we've pulled over at Miles, which is a little town in the outback. It's not it's not really red dirt yet, but lots of farms and stuff like that. It's been a pretty cool drive. I didn't actually get any of it on film, sorry. Um, ended up having a mad chat with a girl on the bus for like the entire way. And then it got dark, so I just watched some stuff on my computer. Um, but we've had dinner now, it's about 9 o'clock at night and about to get back on the bus overnight there's another stop i think at about midnight but i'm i'm hoping i'll be asleep for that and um then yeah back at it tomorrow for a big day on the bus i love the smell of roasted moss at 2 a.m in the morning um i'm in morven at the moment i've had a really really rough sleep but you know, it's all part of it, so we'll see how we go tomorrow, or wherever we wind up next, but we're getting there, we're about halfway, so I've got another, what is it, like 16 hours to go, so lots of fun. <laughs> we have also reached Red Dirt, so definitely, definitely, 100% outback country out here. Blackall, the, uh, the bus driver is changing over now and we're past halfway so I've got another 12 hours till, till I'm out with the family. There he goes now. Hopefully the bus comes back, it's got all my stuff on it. But now it's time to get some breakfast. Right, well, the bus is back, all fueled up, and got brekkie in me. That's a bloody big one, that one. I didn't get through it. 
Um, but I saw the um, the drivers act as like delivery drivers as well out here. So they'll pick people up and drop people off on the bus, but also take um, like postal packages to people's houses and stuff like that. So it doubles as like a, a passenger bus and a delivery service, which is pretty cool. Getting two things done at once and I'm just loving, loving the views and the outback and the scenery. It's just absolutely. All right, made it to Winton, which is our lunch stop. The bus has just gone off to drop off some posts. Last time I was here with Malika, we stopped at this nice old country pub. So I'm gonna see if I can um, get some food there if, if I've got some time. I've got the Walton Matilda Centre here. That's a um, pretty cool thing to go to if you're in here. I, um, I went there when I was like 11 or something like that. Just gives you the history of um, Banjo Patterson and where where the um, poem Waltz and Matilda came from. Um, yeah, it's bloody hot, really, really, really hot, and I could definitely go for a beer. So let's see how that turns out. Cheers, mate. Right, got my lunch at the Tattersalls pub. Steak sandwich is bloody beautiful, great one. Nice to have a pint of really cold beer as well. It's exactly what I've needed. On top of the Waltz and Matilda Centre here, they also have lots of dinosaur fossils and a big dinosaur museum just, um, just outside of Winton where you can go and actually see people like uncover fossils and stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, and definitely worth a visit if, you, if you're coming. Pulled over at the servo in Kainina. Um, that's a cop station behind me. There's not a lot out here. There is a really cool pub here though called Blue Healer Pub that Malika and I have been to. It's got names all over the walls and lots of memorabilia and stuff. I stayed there when I was younger too. It's really, really worth checking out. Um, getting very close to home now. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Fresh mango straight off the tree. See how you do it.